Hello and welcome back to another episode of Europa Universalis 4 as we continue our game with Portugal. So, we uh, in the previous episode started helping out uh, Naples with their reconquest of Modena. Yep, it's the third time they are trying to reconquer Modena. Whoa, that really is something. Alright, so we are uh, trying to help, help them out. Uh, so, Bohemia is now the Holy Roman Empire, which is neither holy nor Roman nor even an empire. Although Bohemia by itself is actually getting a pretty darn good job of trying to uh, become an empire. Nothing in our uh, size, but they are trying. So we actually have quite a bit of Republican tradition. We are closing in in the last 10 years of gameplay. It's almost over guys. And apparently that siege is done for. Let's go and, well, well, let's lift that siege over there. Siege of Sunda, we lost it. Alright, I am actually going to put our guys into the boat and uh, send them over here to crush uh, the, uh, that little thing called the Netherlands. Alright, but first I want to crush that uh, that little army over there. There we go, Battle of Firenze. Done for. Let's get over here, get onto the boat and move all the way up here. And hopefully they will be able to uh, maintain uh, the thing right here without our help. So Mistech is done. Almost lost that freaking battle though. Alright, let's put these guys in automatic rebel suppression. These guys there and then there. We crush those guys, yes. Let's see where our guys are. Let's uh, do this so they go to where they uh, were. Uh, to, th to their base. Let's call it that. So our fleet is moving, as you see, right there. December. And there. Now we'll put our guys in their capital and try to siege through it uh, fast. Because I really, really... Alright, so we lost that siege. That's... Disappointing. Day 31, 28th. I'll catch them. There. That'll teach you. How, how is all our war exhaustion? None. Alright. That is good. The, we have quite a few uh, revolt risks though. In Lamu. Lamu. No. Right there. Actually, maybe there. No, Lamu. Right there. Oh. Uh, yeah, in the previous episode we also conquered a tiny little province over there. The Lamu province from uh, Swahili. So we are sieging through this, hopefully fast. Siege of Great Karu, so we won. We counter sieged it. Let's actually crush those guys. Alright, move it. There we go. Right, we can take this off again and put them automatic rebel suppression actually you guys go over there that is your uh, place Le let's actually start sending we have lost the siege of Iowa god dang it so many freaking little provinces to take care of siege of Choctaw is over uh, this is what happened um, uh, well over here with the independence of the USA uh, there, they would siege so much faster than the than the guys that were there, uh, the colonial militia, uh, would be able to stop them. So that is why they actually won the war for independence, and uh, England or Great Britain couldn't send all that uh, many regiments over there because uh, by that time they actually st uh, started to put. Uh, they had already. Uh, Colin, well, they had most of India already by that time, if not uh, in control of theirs, 
direct control I mean there were uh, vessels yeah, speaking on game terms so we lost the claim on Lamu so good thing we started to core that uh, thing let's see what kind of trailer it is if it is a level 3 I will take it no level 2 so no level 2 and we're here no. we are really not getting uh, that much uh, luck in matters of advisors uh, in the beginning we always had a few a few um, level 3 advisors even though we couldn't afford them now that we can well they don't uh, appear oh god damn it well this is different they are trying to siege through our colonies we are sieging through their um, capital so let's catch these guys I'm freaking tired of having these guys uh, bothering me so we want okay let's take the first march and siege through that and over there can actually make a barrier over here but too much trouble actually I have quite a bit of land over here it's interesting uh, let's see all right so minus 35 percent minus 28 zoo actually um, Whoa, we lost the overseas expansion against Zoo. Really? Are they Western? Yes, they are. They Westernized. Well, they started Westernizing. <laughs> Minus 3 stability. They need to put stability to plus 1 to start the, the Westernization process. Alright, good for them. They started to Westernize. Okay, uh, new pope, overseas expansion against Nogai, defender of the Prost Protestant faith, Bohemia. Whoa, Normandy entered the military alliance with Savoy. Alright, so we crushed that army that was giving uh, Naples uh, quite a few headaches, so right now they, they are fine. They are fine, uh, Holy Roman Empire. Uh, let's actually see. 94 all right so when we siege through this hopefully it will be enough and we could actually capture a few ships maybe if we siege through this then naples will be able to get a big chunk out of there uh out of here so that is any zero percent and we are in the last uh 10 years Siege of Missouri, we have won it. Good, let's check if we don't have any more hostile sieges. We have one in Choctaw. Oh, god dang it. Let's go there. And then lift it. Uh, start to crush rebels again. Alright, I'm not going to take any more ideas uh, for now because I want to attack uh, sooner. As you can see, five more years, so I want to attack as soon as we can. just for the sake of having a level of, uh, 32 in every single uh, category we have lost siege of Choctaw of course we did and we already were there god dang it 6 7 all right ah not in time apparently so let's do this crush those guys there and move there siege through that again and apparently USA won that little uh, battle with these guys alright overseas expansion against Shagatai Bavaria enter the military alliance with Savoy uh, bigger army them them how much longer 21% okay 35 siege of Iowa is over we won it good and there's nothing really else nothing more to do over in this side we do not have any more hostile sieges 
Finally, for the first time in a very long time. Well, what seemed like a very long time, at least for me. Hopefully Naples will win and the revolt in Lamu, which was immediately crushed. No kidding. Election. Military candidate. Indeed. Alright. Uh, call to arms from Russia. Shun and I'm um, and those guys. Alright, I accept. Of course I accept Russia. Uh, so, apparently these guys haven't joined. Oh no, this is Jaunpur. So we'll try and keep an eye on this. Oh, Russia has colonies here. This is where they have colonies. Alright. That's fine. Russia is sending or collecting? Ah, god dang it. Russia. Yields power here, but they are... Let's see what they are doing. Russia, Russia, Russia. Uh, transfer trade power upstream. Do they have it here? Okay. Okay. Nope, Russia has no power here. Alright, so I don't know what they are doing here, but okay, that's fine. That is fine. Really don't mind. So they are at war with uh, Shun, correct? Yep. So we'll keep an eye on hostile sieges. Well, oh, mobile. Really? Really? God dang it. They always try to siege through that. Don't they? So we've won the siege of Oland and hopefully that will mean that Naples has not 100% but very very close. So let's put our guys out there. They will stay here again because I forgot they were uh, that there was uh, a fleet leaving, but that's fine. Oh, apparently they went there, good. Battle of the Ryuku Islands, we won it, of course. So let's put our guys over where they belong, right there. Alright, that is all good. Let's see over here, you have 14 guys, these guys are a uh, military level of 25. But they still are uh, Chinese, so. And they are actually trying to siege through this, aren't they? Let's see if we can kill them with all, with only this. Let's take our best general, which is maybe this one. Well, let's take this one. No leader. Let's go over there. And grab this guy and put a leader here and we'll try to crush I'm not sure if we will uh, so military power was a kind of let's see we have better morale we have better discipline we have better military tactics and our units are a ton better so hopefully we will win there we go we we were attacking and we won. So they are retreating all the way to Punjab, which I have no idea where it is. Well, I know it's in India, but I don't know where exactly it is. All the way up there. Sure, you can you can retreat all the way up there. I really don't mind. That's fine. That is fine. And we are actually making tons of money. Still, we are sending a lot of money down here. That's good. And we have uh, quite a few ships in here already to send there, don't we? Siege of Shokta, we won it, good. Let's go over to this side and actually crush this little freaking army which is getting on my nerves. Let's merge and we'll put him to patrol the Gulf of Aden. That is one spot that we always want more and more and more and more ships. Actually, if you guys want it, uh, you could, for instance, put a merchant here and put something to patrol in here to steer, uh, to steer it away from uh, Constantinople and send it to Tunis or Genoa, depending. Well, actually, to Genoa, right? Uh, this is Genoa, Venice, and Constantinople. So we could actually send it to Genoa 
and since you already have this part hopefully then you will be able to send that much more over to this side and over to here so that is something that you can actually do let's get defensiveness we could actually remove this guy from here because we already have a uh, land over in this uh, trade uh, zone so we could remove our guy from there and hopefully the ships would take care of it and if not the ships then our entire freaking fleet will do let's see what kind of people influence are we looking at all right let's actually get a lot on this guy so i don't have to worry for a long time that that should be good enough so we won the battle of young tse delta that's fine we do we have hostile sieges yes in choctaw really again all right we crushed them nothing really uh, is spectacular or anything but well and apparently they are uh, at war. Oh, Provence is actually in the war, is it? Can we get reach there? No. Well, but we can put them onto the ships, get there, and occupy Provence. Uh, so let's... Shall we try and lift that? No, let's occupy Provence. What the hell? actually what is our well no then stay here we'll go over there i really wanted to try and get uh, 90 at least uh, military tradition as well actually go here first to lift that little uh, siege there uh, and done for good uh, army tradition plus 0 0.2 Let's see, these guys are retreating to Parma, so let's try and crush them. Well, actually, they will reach there faster. Uh, but they need our help. There, done for, done. Let's go there. Crush those guys. There we go. Naples will lose that battle if we don't go and help out. They actually lost the entire freaking army. Uh, Alright, so we won that battle, nothing surprising, let's go there, let's see what army tradition is looking like, 85.4, that's good, let's go over there, we crushed them, good, we haven't gained any more uh, military uh, tradition, which is a bummer, diplomacy, super peace, they would actually accept white peace already from us, let's see if there are any armies over here that we can crush. There, plus 0 0.1 military tradition. That's that is Andy and uh, Shun and Ameg Ameg Damar. All right, we'll go there and nothing really important over here. A revolt in Lamu was crushed immediately. That's fine. They are trying to run away. We'll do force march to catch them. Uh, six, seven, so. And done. Alright, and they are now retreating to Punjab again, yet again. Alright, let's go retreat to Vijayanagar. And uh, rest there for a little while. Let's see where what well three more years a bigger army always bigger army whoops let's see what our tradition is looking like 86 so we need a few more battles to get to 90 so we'll go there try to crush that uh, little thing right there we, cr we Battle of Vijayanagar, we won it. Apparently they tried to get tried to siege that. 85.9. Oh it's it's dropping. Alright, so we'll go to Punjab and see what we can do over there. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, let's crush this uh, tiny little army. There, done. Nothing really uh, bothersome. 
All right, it's looking good. Japan, no Morocco. Well, Morocco broke their military alliance with Japan. Uh, they retreated apparently. We'll cr catch them and crush them. Good. Let's go to Provence and try to siege through it. Uh, okay, this is going well. Nothing really, really important happening right now. We are just maintaining our uh, army to help out Naples. It's really in the last uh, straws. The game, the ga game is really giving its last right now. So oh, we are at what Brandenburg, really? Do they have a port? Yes, they do. We could go there. So Battle of Punjab. We won the Battle of Punjab. Of course, we did. And now they are retreating all the way to Bangladesh, which is not entirely sure. Maybe over to this side. No, Bangladesh. Oh, oh, only there. Okay, we'll follow them and crush them. We gained a few more uh, tradition, military tradition. Uh, right, this one I actually don't know where it is. <laughs> God dang it! Let's find it. Uh man, my guy. There. Go there. Let's see our tradition. 86.5. The reason why I'm doing this is because there is an achievement for uh, 90 uh, and 90. Uh, well, 90 in every category of tradition, which is, which means uh, naval and army tradition. And I haven't actually unlocked it, and since we are playing in Iron Man, might as well try to unlock it. So let's, uh, well, that's actually not that bad. I'm actually going to put a cut in this episode, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, uh, please consider giving it a thumbs up, it really helps out a lot. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Until then, do take care and goodbye.